Ants are pretty well renowned for their unbelievable strength. We've all marveled at them hauling pieces of fruit, breadcrumbs, or leaves across the ground, sometimes ten times their size, and they could easily carry far heavier items. Anyone who's watched Game of Thrones will be familiar with the seriously huge enforcer called the Mountain. He's also known in powerlifting circles as Thor Bjornsson and holds the world record for a deadlift. Bjornsson once hoisted an astounding 450 kilograms. It's roughly three times his body weight. It's all very impressive. Unless, of course, you know, you're an ant. It's estimated that ants can lift up to 5,000 times their body weight. Something that us mere humans can only dream of. So what is it about ants? How are these teeny tiny little tireless workers able to lift ridiculous amounts of weight? It all comes down to their body structure and some basic physics. Let's start with the physics. Larger animals, including humans, can have large volumes of body mass or body weight. This means they need larger areas of muscle in order to move or lift something. Muscle power is required to lift the body mass, plus the object in question. Ants, on the other hand, have much smaller volumes of body weight to move. Their light frames mean they don't use up as much energy when having to move things around. This leaves their muscles with a lot more energy to use on shifting heavy objects. They're also blessed with incredibly compact and efficient body structures, making them pretty ideal for lifting and carrying machines. Now let's take a look at their physical makeup. As with all the insects, ant bodies are divided into three parts. The head, thorax or torso, and the abdomen. The bulk of ants' strength come from their incredibly strong neck muscles, which are supported by a very sturdy thorax. Strong necks are vital because ants use their jaws or mandible to grip things and to carry them. Ants also have some of the most developed thoraxes in the insect world. Think of them as, like, bull-necked bodybuilders just raring to go and lift something. Other insects use their mandibles to grip something and just drag it. However, ants take it to a next level and they actually lift things up to carry them. But things weren't always like this. Ants used to have wings, but over time, the worker ant evolved and it lost its wings, leaving it with more room and energy to reserve to utilize its muscles. Winged insects use all of their thorax muscles to power their wings. However, wingless insects can apply their muscles to other tasks, such as carrying and lifting. We should point out that queen ants still have wings, which allows them to move around freely so that they can mate. Ants are estimated to have an originated around like 160 million years ago from the wasp family. Ever since then, the process of losing their wings meant that they developed much stronger and more effective thorax muscles. These bigger muscles stabilize an ant's neck, legs, and abdomen. The extra muscle room means ants' bodies are perfectly designed to balance heavy loads as they can evenly distribute the weight across their light yet highly compact frames. Weightlifters use these same principles to propel and control heavy weights over their heads. Shifting loads to the legs with the abdomen maintains balance. So, with the thorax freeing up more muscles to use, let's examine one of the major factors behind the strength of ants, the neck. Yeah, an ant's neck is perfectly designed to support lifting heavy weights. The neck is made from soft tissue that links their hard-shelled heads to their thorax. Like the rest of their bodies, an ant's neck is surprisingly strongly reinforced with a hard exoskeleton on the outside with a single joint of soft tissue inside. Their robust thorax muscles let the neck make initial heavy pickups and using the strong jaws, and then when lifting something, the neck takes the full force of the load. Ants are then able to cope with the weight because their necks are flexible and supported by immensely strong muscles. Scientists have studied the intricate structure of ant necks, marveling at how they're designed to withstand the pressure of heavy weights. This is seen with the soft tissue of an ant's neck linking with the hard exoskeleton on the head and the thorax. Usually, this might result in stress overload due to the variation in body parts and structure. However, in the case of ants, this is a gradual transition of load bearing. It allows for optimal performance when attempting to lift something. Ants also use their neck to move their heads in precise movements that allow them to maintain stability when lifting something. Thus, they're able to keep a steady center of mass, which is vital to balancing and then moving with a heavy load. Now let's look at how an ant goes about picking something up and then carrying it. First of all, the ant uses its mandibles or its jaws to grasp the object. Their strong neck muscles and rock-solid legs allow them to lift something off the ground and over their heads, not unlike an Olympic lifter performing the clean and jerk. Throughout this motion, the ant's leg acts like concrete pillars, which makes it easy to stabilize the object. All the while, their abdomen shifts when necessary in order for the ant to balance and start moving with the object. Ants maneuver their loads during the carry to ensure constant balance and control. For example, when we're carrying something like a ladder, 
we adjust the position depending on whether we're going up or down some stairs. Ants similarly shift and reposition their loads as needed. They're able to do so because of them sturdy legs, the control of their abdomen, and their impressively strong thorax. It's not surprising then that engineers have often looked to the mechanics of ants when designing machinery such as excavators and industrial robots. Aerospace engineers are intensely studying the mechanics of ant necks and their lifting prowess. They believe that a thorough understanding of exactly how the ant body functions could lead to significant breakthroughs in robotics. This includes looking at designing robots with combined soft and hard parts, exactly like that of an ant. Engineering and scientists are specifically interested in how ants change and shift their bodies when moving in different directions to keep a load stabilized. We can see the impressive ant mechanics at work whenever they're carrying a load, sometimes alone, but more often than not in a group. Ants have been photographed carrying fully ripe strawberries and pears over their heads. To put that into perspective, that would be like seeing a 75 kilogram human hoist a bus into the air. Naturally, it doesn't just stop at lifting and carrying. Because of their strong jaws and well-proportioned body shape, ants are proficient diggers. Depending on the species, ants are capable of digging up to 10 meters below the ground or into wood. Studies have shown that ant jaws accelerate at 100,000 times the force of gravity. Not only great for excavating, but also for catching prey and self-defense. Putting it simply, ants are a natural phenomenon. Perfectly crafted bodies and instincts that allow them to perform incredible feats of strength. So next time you see a group of ants soldiering away with their loads, maybe take a moment, sit back, give them a handshake, appreciate the best demonstration of strength in the animal kingdom.